What's going on you guys and welcome back to the ARA show. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys my worst investing mistakes that I've made throughout my entire investing career. And trust me, they're all going to be really bad. I've made tons of mistakes, but you know what? In my opinion, I think in the stock market, you can never really lose any money. What really happens is you're just making expensive mistakes. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my worst losses I've ever made. And if you guys want to see all my L's, stay tuned and cue that intro. So the way that we're going to format this video is I'm going to show and explain what mistake that I made and then at the end of it I'm going to show you guys the lesson that I learned from doing this mistake. So hopefully that way you guys won't make the same mistake that I did. So with that being said we're going to start off with my worst mistake ever and the biggest one that I've learned from. So starting off with my biggest loss ever in investing it all started with this one index over here. It was just an index for natural gas and to be honest I have no idea how the natural gas index worked at all. I don't even understand it to this day but at the time one of my friends told me yo let's start trading this index and I was like okay yeah. So as you guys can see I started buying tons of money and at the time yes this doesn't look like a lot but as you can see I've been buying continuously over and over again on this index. It was making up probably a little bit more than 90% of my overall portfolio, which is a huge red flag. So if you guys can take away anything from this video, don't invest in anything that you don't know. Don't listen to any of your friends advice, especially if you don't understand it yourself. I'm not saying that it's bad advice in particular, but it's always good to do your own research. So yeah, at the end of the day, I ended up losing so much money. It took me almost a year to build up from that loss and just recover. And obviously at the time I was pretty salty because I lost almost 90% of my portfolio, which is just insane. But you know, the good thing with learning about your mistakes is that you can always learn and recover from them, especially if you're young, you have a higher risk tolerance than a lot of other people. So it gives you a good amount of time to kind of recover. And that's exactly what happened to me. I was able to recover from it. Yes, it did take a very long time to recover. But now when I look back at it, it's probably my most expensive mistake, but I've also learned a lot from it I mean, let's just take a look at this chart. Does this look like a good investment to you guys? I got in maybe around 2019 So at first I remember it went up and I was super excited, but then afterwards Yeah, it's not even on Robinhood anymore. I believe it's an OTC stock So it's just kind of funny looking back like it's not even on the stock market or Robinhood or whatever it is But it's just kind of funny to this day so again, if you guys can take anything from this part or this mistake, it's to do your own research and don't blindly trust in your friend. I'm not saying not to trust in your friend, just don't blindly trust into them. So with that being said, let's hop into my second biggest mistake. So for my second biggest loss, we're looking at Genius Brands over here. And last year around, what was it, about 2020, so summertime 2020, the stock had a crazy run. I bought in around three, four dollars and I actually ended up averaging up just because I was up so much. And at the time ran up all the way to $10. I know it doesn't really represent it over here, but it was just because it happened so fast that it doesn't even register on Robinhood. If you go to year to date and then look at the, the high, you can see that it was over $10. And I was up almost 3x my initial investment, but I didn't even take a single dollar in profit. And because of that, you guys can see that I'm down 1700 now, which is just absolutely insane. I haven't sold it off yet just because I'm looking at a good opportunity to either tax loss harvest or just kind of run it up and see what happens in the future. You never really know. But at this point, I've just taken a big loss on this 72%, 72 damn percent I'm down. So like I said before, it's a huge mistake of mine. I've learned a lot from it. I've learned to take out profits and scale a little bit. You know, the common saying goes, no one ever got hurt taking profits. So whatever it is, just scale out a little bit. That's one thing that I've learned personally. And at the end of the day, I'm okay because I learned a lot from this. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, you don't really lose money in the stock market. You just pay for expensive lessons. So I guess this is just another lesson that I learned. And for the third biggest mistake and the final one we're going to be talking about in this video, because trust me, there's a billion of mistakes that I've made. So I don't want to make a 50 hour long video. So we're just going to be covering three. And let me know if you guys like this video. I'll definitely post a lot more. But anyways, this one has to do with timing the market. So... What happened was on February 12th, I ended up selling out of my Acorns account, which that account basically just tracked the S&P 500. And then I went into this growth portfolio that I created myself. So it's going to be tons of stocks like Tesla, ARK, Enphase, and so on. I'll leave a link in the video, uh, the description or in the top right over here if you guys want to check it out. 
it's just talking about my a rate etf as i like to call it if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this but anyways with this portfolio i ended up selling out of the s p 500 to get into this growth portfolio and the reason was because i actually already had a lot of exposure to the s p 500 anyways but at the end of the day, I ended up losing a lot. So you guys can see that I'm down about 9%, 10%. And with this percentage loss, I would have been way higher if I had just left my money in Acorns and let them do the investing for myself. Still to this day, it's not really my fault. And I don't really think it's a mistake per se, but it is still something that ended up losing me some money. So what really happened was I just couldn't time the market well. And this is what happens sometimes when you invest. You just have to kind of look over it and just keep your head forward and keep moving on. Honestly, I think it's pretty funny that I ended up selling out of the S&P 500 literally the day that all the growth stocks decided to drop. If we go back and I kind of tracked it over here, you can see that since February 12th-ish, you can see I compared it to Tesla. Of course, there's a bunch of other ones out there. But since then, Tesla had a huge dump and since then it's been kind of recovering so luckily i've been kind of dollar cost averaging and holding it in but to this date if i had kept it in the s p 500 my money would have slowly increased over time which is a lot better of a return than what tesla has been doing if i had some of the other ones i had expis in it if i take a look let's take a look at some of the other stuff that we have we have arc w so let's just add that one to arc w you can see that of course, there's that huge loss after February 12th, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. So I guess my mistake is not being able to time the market properly. But again, guys, this is just something that happens when you're investing. Just take out your time dollar cost average in. For example, when I first bought Tesla, I actually bought it at around, let's see, it was around maybe $800, as you guys can see down here, $800, and now it's just getting up to $800 again. So luckily, like I said before, I've been just kind of dollar cost averaging into the market. So now my average is 707. That's just because I've been buying heavily on the dips. So I guess that's something that you can take away. Even if you don't time the market well, don't look at it in the short term. Look at it in the long term. Just try to buy as much quantity of stock as you can rather than looking at their price. So that's my biggest lesson to you on timing the market. And to end off this video, I'm going to show you guys my dividend portfolio just because we got some green over here. I don't want to give you guys the impression that all I do is take L's and losses. So here's some green over here just, just to give myself a little bit of credibility. But again, guys, I just want to reiterate. And if you guys learn anything from this video, know that making mistakes is okay. A lot of people learn from mistakes. Warren Buffett makes mistakes. Every single person is going to make a mistake. So as long as you're able to learn from that mistake, then that's totally fine. Just don't make it a mistake and not learn anything from it. So again, guys, you guys have seen all my mistakes from listening to my friend blindly, not doing my own research, getting too greedy, or just not being able to time the market in general. Let me know your guys' biggest investment mistakes down in the comments down below. And also, I didn't get to mention this, but so my first initial loss that I talked about in this video it was a $4,500 investment which turned into $400 and then now we got the second one which was genius and that one I lost about $1,700 I haven't realized that loss so hopefully maybe it'll bounce back but either way in my book it's a lot a loss of opportunity cost and then of course there's that S&P 500 loss which hopefully one day will kind of bounce back but again guys let me know your guys' biggest loss in the comments down below and guys, if you guys enjoyed all my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. And guys, remember, everybody eats.